Here's an example of EBITDA, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. How we get down to that. If we have a uh, facility that has a $4 million gross sales, their COGS, or cost of goods sold, is going to be uh, 85% or $3.4 million, leaving a 15% gross profit margin of 600,000. Then you have operating expenses of about 480,000 or 12%. That gives you a net accounting income of 120,000. And the depreciation and interest were, were in your operating expenses. So we add those back in uh, at uh, 80,000 and 40,000 to get us to an EBITDA of $240,000. EBITDA levels the playing field because every, every business does depreciation and interest differently. Some have lots of working capital and they loan it out as operating funds to, to the farmers to buy fertilizer and seed and, and chemicals. And so they are earning income interest on that. Others run on a much thinner amount of working capital. So it's, it's just a different business model they pay less interest. And so when you add back in the depreciation to get to EBITDA, that tends to stabilize that, that variability or the business model between companies. So that's why it becomes a valid comparison.